All right, we're playing a level called Quack. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, Start the adventure. I'll just be showing this level off. So this is basically just a demo level for uh, Wapinator here. Uh, we can see here, starting with this guy that doesn't eat us. Hello, Hello there. Eek, don't eat me. Don't worry, I'm a baby lurker. Only adult lurkers eat people. Oh, I see. And one funny thing you can do is you can actually get them to rotate to look at you, which, of course, you couldn't do before because they just ate you. Here we have a coin that can talk. What is my purpose in life? For me to collect you? No, I don't think that's right. Suit yourself. <laughs> okay. Poor coin. Go this way. I like how when I start talking to this this sign, uh, it turns to face towards me. So now it's pointing at a wall, and now it's saying go this way to a wall that I literally cannot go into. Why? Because I said so. You're rude. It's rude to call people rude. I know. Now, is that's very unwonderland-like. Our main protagonist is always polite. All right, so the secret to this one, we can't we want to actually bring the sign over to this button. The problem being, you know, there's white magic here, so it'll clear my our blue magic if we try and bring it across normally. So what we're going to do is we'll just teleport that. Oh, wait. So put the sign down on the button, right? And then uh, pick it up and go through the gate before the magic reaches it, so that way the sign is there. Place it down here so that the white magic can't clear it out, right? And then pick up the blue magic again, and pick up the sign again. And now we can place it down on that button, and collect the star. Or not. Hi, I'm a star! I didn't notice. Oh, me neither. Can I collect you now? No. For saying that, you're banished somewhere there, somewhere land, really? Maybe. Just do it already by putting his cold. Um, Matt loves his non sequiturs. I explode you now. All right. Um, barrels are apparently gems, and we've already seen Spike's coins before, but they're still just this ridiculous. One thing you may not have noticed about this level is you can talk to the plants. Sup, brother? You knew around these parts? I can barely read this. Um, hi. Ah, you see it, dude? I just got my own washing machine. But I have no use for them. I am shroom. I just got my own washing machine? Is there something you, how, someone helpful around here? No, dude. You've been doing the drug spot. Lay off them. Trust me. Don't make the same as Storkside did. Okay, so this this mushroom, right? This is a shroom, right? We're talking to a shroom. So he is the drug, right? So does he believe that he was born a mistake? He probably was. Right, okay. Um, Hello. Howdy, Stinker. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Ah, no Undertale f spoilers. I mean, it's pretty much the first thing you see in Undertale. It's not much of a spoiler. Flowey the Flower? He's like the first guy you come across. It's the whole dramatic effect. And now that lowered the red gate so we can get this mystery box. Ooh, what could it be? Come to think of it, the way it's rotating like that kind of gives it away that it's a star. Um, yeah, that's the level. That's Quack. Basically, this was just the level that shows off the, the Wapinator tool that Matt made, which edits the objects to have strange behaviors. So that's just a bit interesting, but it's really short and not really puzzle heavy, or even that story heavy for that matter. But, you know, it's clearly a Matt level, so... Whatever. So that was Quack. Um, thanks, Matt, for making the level, and thank you all for watching uh, this very short video.